Well, very good morning, everybody. It's Monday, the 15th of June, and uh, I think a few of you had a reasonably good day yesterday. Um, I saw some uh, nice sort of out and returns up to Oxford. So well done to those of you that did fly, um, just making the most of the weather. And I know uh, that the Ash 30, Charlie Charlie, I think went for a trip around the TMA as well. So yeah, some, something to make use of, of yesterday. But to today, uh, still got low pressure in charge. It's not a particularly sort of uh, deep area of low pressure at all, uh, but it is bringing instability. And we can see at sort of the 12 o'clock, we've got these troughs, which are just hanging about, waiting for the temperature to get up as such. Um, and that's sort of what's going to determine the next few days, really, is what trough activity, what thunderstorm activity happens. Hopefully today, we're going to see not too much in the way of that. Um, and you can see by tomorrow there's more troughs and even a convergence line in Scotland. So slack area, not particularly uh, any particular wind direction, variable I think is the thing for this day. And we can see that on the weather charts. Variable, variable, whichever way you want the wind may go. So uh, yeah, that shouldn't be too much of an impact on anybody. Uh, satellite picture. There was sort of an area of, uh, or still is an area of stratocumulus, which is just above us at the moment. That's starting to burn back, as you can see. And hopefully, as that burns back, uh, we'll get a bit more heating on the ground. Infrared, um, there might be a little bit in the way of upper cloud, but it shouldn't be too significant. And you can notice the swirl here of the, well, sort of the centre of the uh, very weak low pressure as such. Uh, that's nearby, but nothing in the way of fronts or anything to cause us too much of an issue, assuming that the troughs stay at bay. If you look at the sounding, you can see that once we get to sort of uh, 20, uh, 19, 20 degrees, uh, it doesn't take much that if we did get more than that, that um, the clouds will start getting big. So uh, hopefully there will still be enough of a lid to keep the showers at bay, but it wouldn't take much for us to get showers and the uh, TAFs and METARs show that. At the moment, talking about rain, there's, there's nothing particularly threatening us at the moment. You can sort of see that trough line on the synoptic chart out to the southwest. To the south, um, I think this line is just petering out as it meets some drier air mass. So, yeah, not too bad. Top temperature today uh, is about uh, 2021 on there. If we look at the public forecast, but yes, yeah, so somewhere in the region of about 20 degrees or so, uh, this being probably a little bit pessimistic with more cloud, but not so much in the way of showers. So I guess uh, probably 20 degrees here, and dew points probably just above single figures, uh, about 11 or so. Currently, we have a temperature of 16.8 and a dew point of nearly 11. And wind on the airfield, again, light and variable. Top Meteo is showing a potential flight distance today of somewhere in the region of that. So reasonable task area, probably best to go sort of to the north, northwest and, and northeast as such, rather than uh, get too much in the way of a trough that might come in. And if we look at start time, I'd expect to have most of you going by midday, at least, if not slightly before. By midday, above site, we should have in the region of about three and a half to four thousand feet. Um, four thousand feet above sea. By two o'clock, you can see there is a potential of uh, of light showers coming in. Maybe some sea air effect as well. Cloud base above lashing probably four to four and a half thousand. In some places, you might find it five, uh, cloud base five thousand feet above sea level. And by five o'clock, you can see cutting off quite uh, quickly from the south, probably some convergence line slash shower effect. So I would suggest that you're probably on final glide no later than uh, probably four, half four, that you're heading in the direction of Lasham, because uh, there's been a few land outs over the last few days. Uh, better to the north, and if we look at what it is 
sort of north of us, out towards sort of Bedford, Cambridge, etc. You might see cloud base uh, 5,000 above ground. So yeah, good into East Anglia, but still a bit n narrow to ask showers into Wales. Uh, if you go too far east, you might find too much cloud. So a day to just be cautious. Uh, maybe a bit of an opportunity out towards uh, the uh, out towards Fairford as well. The site forecast. So something like that. You can see that if we get to 20 degrees, it will not take very much. And we could have a cumulus top of 24,000 feet, uh, which might get a little bit interesting. Uh, hopefully not too much more than that. Otherwise, it starts getting a little bit more violent. Uh, but yeah, surface winds generally westerly. Okay, uh, Farnborough are showing uh, at the moment wind sort of all over the place. And as you can see, a prop 30 of showers, so uh, less than likely, but uh, we'll keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, there, there's, if we get enough, there might be some towering cumulus. If we look at 12 o'clock sounding at Buckingham, uh, reasonable up to 4,000 feet. Uh, maybe just a little bit too much cloud, but a lot of uh, potential for shower activity if that temperature gets up. Cambridge, similar. And finally, uh, Cambridge a bit later, you can sort of see how there's not, doesn't appear to be too much of the way of an inversion. Um, so, yeah, it could get quite showery. I mean, we're looking at their least cloud top, uh, cloud base of uh, well, uh, convection up to 10, 11,000 feet. So yeah, we're seeing in the way of showers there. Okay, uh, things of note. First of all, red arrows transit. The red arrows are going down to Bryce Norton this morning uh, before you've launched uh, to do a practice fly pass for the Patrouille de France. I don't know where the Patrouille de France are uh, are going to be coming in. I assumed that they're coming in via the airway network, so we should not see them. Uh, they're doing a practice fly past at Bryce Norton for an event in London on Thursday, so keep your eyes open for that. There's going to be more information available, I'm sure, in the media shortly. But the Red Arrows will head back to Scampton from Bryce Norton at 12.05, um, and we'll be back at Scampton at 12.23. Uh, it's, it's good they can get around the country quite quick. Uh, and there'll be somewhere between 250 to two, uh, feet to 2,000 feet, uh, probably not always at 250. Um, I believe they, I think they do have some flam equipment, so, uh, but we'll stay out of the way of them, but they should be mostly uh, away from you. Okay, other big change. I said you may have noticed in the media today that some parts of the domestic um, uh, flight schedule is returning. EasyJet did their first uh, uh, domestic flight out of Gatwick today to Glasgow, but at Southampton, uh, similar things are happening. They're open now Sunday to Friday. This is uh, at least a further notice between midday and eight. So the zone just is active pretty much for most of our day. It's back to it's a bit more normal activity. Uh, Saturday is still based on NOTAM as Saturday is normally the quiet day for the airlines. So they're still a friendly unit, so if you wish to go through, give them a call uh, and they might be able to accommodate something. They're certainly not as busy as they were pre-COVID, but uh, it is uh, positive to see some signs in the commercial industry. Okay, other bits to note. Uh, paragliding just north of the Salisbury Danger areas, 13 and 14, I think. Eversley is active all day and I believe Bulford is active and uh, Boscombe Down is active as well for the morning. Uh, so generally active in the danger areas. And uh, potential gliding at Chiltern Park, uh, but I think that no term just extends on forever. Other than that, nothing much to note. Runway 27 in use today, no jet movements expected at this time. Uh, wall grid on the grass for 27 by the fire truck. Restaurant is open uh, for takeaways and the bar will be later as well uh, for takeaways as also. And the uh, roadworks are back again on the avenue. They are getting there, um, but uh, it is a little bit dicey when there's no temporary traffic lights uh, because for some reason we didn't qualify for them. But uh, other than that, have a good day and I'll see you on the grid. Bye for now.